Welcome back to TGIF. Now, before we went to break, we're having a very spirited conversation with the uh, founder and CEO of the Zeus, the Zeus Network, Lemmy Plummer. And listen, we got all the spicy stuff out of the way. And that's not the, the sole intent of this interview, because we can't criticize others about being negative if our entire thing is like this. We got to talk about we had conversations before about you saying you want to add balance and you say, I feel like you're not being heard when you say that. So let's get into that. Let's get into you saying the kind of program you want to do. You want, you, you know, you, you've heard the critics already. You've heard what people have to say. You've heard what we've had to say here. You hear it. So to that, what kind of stuff, like what kind of program do you see uh, being greenlit on Zeus moving forward? Yeah, thank you so much. First of all, and I appreciate, you know, everybody's thoughts and, and, and your questions and your feedback. It's, it's, it's important. And so I just, and I appreciate you guys allowing me on the platform to, to speak you guys about these things um you know i uh, yeah we, we we're doing a lot of great things i think for us um you know we have uh, a lot of new programs in our development slate um we are diversifying our programs we're getting into scripted we're getting into live programming we're launching zeus music you know we're launching zeus lounge you know we we we, we have a a, a, a a philanthropic you know, aspect to the company that we take very seriously. You know, we're, we're sponsoring events. We sponsor charity. I mean, we, uh, we donate to charities. Um, we do all sorts of things, guys. And, I, you know, we don't maybe publicize everything, but we're doing as much as we can behind the scenes. And so uh, we're employing folks. There's a lot of people that are working in front of the camera, behind the camera. Um, a lot of predominantly most of our crew is African-American, um, which you don't really see in Hollywood. Most of the people in front of the camera is, is African-American or minority. And so that's important to me. You know, we, we, we're doing everything we can to invest in, in new programming. Um, you know, look, where, we, we, where we've started is not where we're going to finish at all. You know what I mean? And so these are the early, early days and, you know, of, of Zeus. And so for me, I'm excited about the future and where we're headed. And I love what you guys are doing. I think Fox Soul is an amazing platform and all the programming that you guys have, Cocktails with Queens and TGIF and all the different things you guys have. I think you're fun funky and Al, you guys are, and obviously Claudia, you guys are amazing, you know, uh, television personalities and entrepreneurs. And so congratulations to you guys. If you have projects that you think can work with Zeus, we, you know, let's go, let's rock out. Let's do it. Let's not tear, let's not tear each other down. Let's not talk negatively about, you know, you know, each other. And, 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 and I think for me, you know, it's just important that we, um, you know, that you guys understand that, you know, Zeus is doing a lot more than just a few specific shows that folks are talking about. So, yes, we have a lot of plans. We have a lot of things that we want to do. We love to collaborate with all sorts of brands and, you know, if it makes sense. So, you know, we're, we're doing great. We're number one right now in the streaming S5 space. BET is not where we are. VH1 is not where we are. VTV is not where we are. All Black's not where we are. The little, you know, the new little FUBU thing, you know, they're not where we are. All these other- You said the little FUBU thing? But you know, no, I'm saying, I, know, I, 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 mean, I, I completely love what you said. And, and especially when we start to approach things from the whole Black people perspective, it being a Black network, you employing Black people, you giving Black people talent. I love all of that. But I think one thing that is missing in our media and in our community <laughs> as a whole, respectfully and out of love, I also think in being Black and in supporting Black, we cannot be afraid from time to time to pull our brothers and our sisters to the side, regardless of who owns the company, and give them a little correction with love. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, not taking the interview back to where it was. I'm looking forward to these other projects, brother. You know what I'm saying? And like I always said, I would never tear nobody down without extending the hand to lift. And them. I hope they make TGIF. You know what I'm saying? I hope I hope they would. And <laughs> the they don't involve pulling somebody's scalp out. You know what I'm saying? I hope they do too. And, and that's the thing. I would like for them to make TGIF for reasons greater than somebody's hair being pulled. That's, yeah. that, that's the point. That's the only point. No, and I and I and I understand. I understand everything you're saying, and it makes complete sense. And I don't disagree. And I I look forward to you guys seeing those new programs and shows. And I hope we get the same support. I hope I hope you guys highlight some of the new shows. And and even with the Bad Boys LA, you know, it's a great show. It's out right now. People are talking about it. the real. Just did a whole piece on it today. You know, these are real conversations. You know, uh, that people are talking about. You know, whether it's their sexuality. You know, whether it's uh, you know, just 
what they want to do with their lives. And, you know, it, it's a lot of different moving parts and, and, and pieces and components to, you know, television and working with a lot of people. So, you know, I do, I'm doing the best I can, guys. I hope I have your support. You know, again, it's very rare to see a young 36 year old African American running an actual credible, real mainstream network that trends every week on Twitter or number anywhere from number 10 to, you know, 30 in the app store or whatever, you know, that it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of moving parts. And so I'm doing everything I can guys to make sure Zeus is successful and whatever I can do to support what you guys are doing over at Fox. So I'm, I'm a hundred percent down. I would I mean, I'm going to promise. Everybody. I'm going to promise you on camera right now that when you have these other shows with this balance, we're definitely going to support. We're definitely going to, we're going to show light because you are a 36 year old black man running a network with black employees. When I was there, I told you that I go, I like how you take care of everybody here. I said, the way you had all those black people in powerful positions, I really was there for that. And I, I am all for that. Now I can, I can support you and give you your props as a black man. And I could also say, I don't like that. I don't like this, but that's my choice. And I will say right. to your point earlier, there's plenty of white networks that did the same exact business model, use black people at our worst and blew up and then switch, switch a script on it and put all this safe stuff afterwards. Uh, what was it? The WB, all of these shows, networks, no. same exact thing. But I do think you being black man, you're going to have the extra spotlight on you. You're going to have the extra smoke because that's what we do. Yeah. But it, it's one thing to st stay, to create your network like that and yeah. stay in that space. But the yeah. evolution is what we are all here for. Yeah, so how, thank you. I, I appreciate like that. that. Thank you, you Claudia. See, I think you want to see that. You said, it, thank you. And our experience with you was amazing as well. You were amazing at what you do and you were easy to work with. And thank you so much for, you know. You I'm know, still waiting on my bonus check that you told me too. So you can put that down. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I got to, again, I got to, I got to shout out James DeBose again. I love James. He's doing an incredible job with Fox Soul. Kudos to what he's doing over there. Like he's a, he's a beast, man. He's been in this game for a while. So you guys have somebody running it over there that's amazing. So I'm just saying thank you guys for the time. I really look forward to, you know, uh, coming back on maybe in the near future. And so or maybe one of our talent can come on and you guys can talk about a specific show. But this has been really fun and I, I look forward to it. But, yeah, stick stick around for the journey and the evolution. Like you said, of Zeus, we're, we're not going anywhere. It's only up. Zeus going up from here. Al, before we go, I didn't. I know you didn't really get to say that much. Did you want to say anything in closing before we leave, Al? Oh no, I'm good. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Plummer. Enjoyed the interview. Thank you, Al. This, nice to meet you. I hope this was a pleasant experience for you. I, I like that uh, here on TJF we can get there, and and you and Funky had a very honest conversation. I think needed to be had, and I think hey, we buddy, I'm giving that. you a hug. I'm giving you a hug. No, yeah, it's oh no no baby, it's all it's it's all love. But I'm acknowledge you you and you right. I'm gonna correct you when you're wrong. It's always gonna be that way. Yeah, likewise, the feeling is mutual. There we go. All right, look at God. Won't he do it? We're gonna take a quick commercial break. Lemmy yeah. Plummer, founder and CEO of the Zeus Network. We will be looking forward to your balanced programming, and we will support uh, one you know, black platform to another. We will take a quick break. We'll be back with more TGIF after this.